Dead End at Norville by Jack Gantos. Although this book was written in 2011, it was the 2012 Newbery Award um, Medal for um, well-written children's materials, and so I wanted to include it in the 12 for 12 video project. Um, I enjoy reading this book because the author, who is Jack Gantos, who also wrote the Joey Pixa books, seems to have skillfully combined fiction and nonfiction, a little bit of autobiographical aspects with bits of history, mystery, and of course humor, which I love, and even a touch of weirdness with enough twists and turns to keep you interested in the reading of the book. Additionally, being a librarian, I like the fact that the main character likes to read. He reads about history, the life of Pizarro, Cortez, um, even the gold rush time and the life and times of King Arthur. And so he's always pondering the history. And so he introduces the concept that history is set in a time frame that it occurs. And so you can kind of bump it around, but it always has the effect of the time that it occurs. And in general, um, this book takes place in 1962, where 12-year-old Jack is looking forward to a great summer. However, he has been, quote, grounded for life, and his summer plans morph into sort of a mystery adventure. To get out of the house, Jack is, quote, volunteered to help a feisty old neighbor, Mrs. Volker, carry out her duties as the writer of obituaries for the local newspaper. So for two months, Jack tries uh, to type, type the obituaries and gives readers this funny insight into the inside scope of history in the town of Norvelt. He's also taken in by a whodunit that uh, takes place with strange incidents that are happening in the town. I really like the author's character development. In fact, the author gives Jack a one big character flaw that he must always remember, and that is that Jack is a nosebleeder. And whenever he gets upset, overexcited, a little bit spooked, blood would spray out of his nose, holes like dragon flames, now always giving him away. He couldn't keep a straight face if he tried. So as a nosebleeder as a young child, I totally relate to Jack's humiliation with his nosebleeds. Um, in general, readers fifth through sixth grade and even adults would like this humor, the humorous stratagems that Jack has for dealing with his parents, the special friendship he kind of develops with this elderly neighbor, and the way he kind of relives history that he's read into the modern day aspect of his life. They also enjoy the insights into his relationships with his family and the life uh, in a small town. There's lots of food for thought and interesting discussion points in this book, and that is Dead End at Narvel. Just briefly, I want to read you what the Newbery Award Committee thought of um, Dead End at Norvell. The importance of history and reading as you don't do the same stupid stuff again, is at the heart of this achingly funny romp through a dying New Deal town. While mopping up epic nosebleeds, Jack narrates this screwball mystery in an enduring and believable voice. Who knew obituaries and old lady death could be this funny and this tender?